a very good morning to both the classes plus to b as well as plus to c and to only one student anushka present in the class uh, yes beta today onwards your revision starts and i hope you will take it seriously because uh, the syllabus is over now all the writing skills invitations replies report writing job application we have done everything and uh, all the chapters as well fine evans was the last chapter which we have completed recently so today onwards we are going to start with the revision of the okay so please note down the characters firstly peddler is the protagonist of this chapter you can say the most important character protagonist fine if a villain is there in any chapter then we call it antagonist you should know this okay but there is no villain in this uh, chapter as well fine so we cannot use that word antagonist here second character otherwise i wanted to write crofter first as per the preference of their arrival in the chapter fine so we have peddler then we have crofter iron master daughter of iron master is adla will mention is her full name but we can just write adla accordingly okay is there any tinisha in your class plus to bb ne nahi hai na tinisha but it is written plus one c plus one c was written so i didn't allow otherwise they should write the correct name okay so these are the four characters then let me tell you the theme of this chapter then i will tell you the story as well so this very first theme of this chapter is essential goodness can be awakened through love and kindness so means every person has that goodness inside you know sometimes people are so bad while they talk in a bitter way harsh way or sometimes they are too rude but we cannot say that okay this person is totally rude you know actually beneath uh, they have something good fine uh, every person has one or the other good traits we cannot declare ki okay this person is bad so essential goodness can be awakened through love and kindness suppose some people are too rude but it can be awakened in them because why they are rude they are not being treated in a nice way by the other members in the society so if we treat them in a good way their essential goodness can be awakened with our behavior with them okay so this is a prominent theme of this chapter rat trap material benefits are the traps so very important again according to this protagonist peddler there are two kinds of people in this world firstly who are already trapped in this materialistic world what is materialistic approach yes anushka in simple language the people who want to uh, you know possess materials like things and richness and money and they are yes collecting they are into collecting things and they are into like materialistic world they are attract they have they do not have any uh, uh, interest for yes very good rasika possessed in materialistic things so those who uh, possess the things always and they are trapped in this trap so according to a uh, peddler first kind of people those who are already trapped second category of people those who are about to trap according to the protagonist in this chapter fine and means he wants to declare that everybody is having materialistic approach one or the other day a bait will be set for us the way a rat is attracted towards a piece of cheese or piece of pork or bread or etc similarly we people will get attracted towards the worldly things one day and definitely we are going to be trapped so this is the philosophical theme and philosophical idea of the peddler okay then next is human beings do have the tendency to redeem themselves from dishonest ways please note down how come we can say that human beings you know they we cannot say that ki if a person is dishonest or thief or uh he will remain same always no they do have the tendency to change themselves to transform themselves from dishonest ways but if and only if they are treated nicely they are raised in a nice way they meet good people so we you know half of our behavior is formed with the kind of people we meet in our lives fine so this is what 
you know uh, writer wants to convey yes beta everyone please tell me is it clear to you all please send me thumbs up or reactions and so that i can continue with the storyline plus to b as well not only plus to c it's for all of you beta so most of you are saying yes so characters i have introduced and theme also in detail we have done so let me narrate you the storyline or plot of the story what is there many of you are aware of this no doubt but in the revision we'll get to know the details and important questions as well that what sort of question side by side i will be discussing okay this is the storyline and you can get such kind of questions in your board exams fine so uh, once uh, you know it, it is a it is narrated in the form of a what is rat, rat trap in this let me tell you about the title it's actually a metaphor when direct comparison is made the rat trap is a metaphor metaphor is the literary device in which direct comparison is made the world is a rat trap you know peddler says that he is not saying the world is like rat trap if he will say so it will become a simile fine he is not saying the world is as a rat trap no he is saying the world is a rat trap so that makes it a metaphor direct comparison of the world with rat trap because we people are getting attracted to worldly things we are like rats Uh, many of us are already caught and many of us will be caught in future so this is the idea behind this uh, metaphor okay title is clear why the title is rat trap it's a metaphor just to denote the uh, the trap or worldly possessions fine in that way so we will be trapped in that rat will be trapped in rat trap we people will be trapped in worldly possessions okay now how it is narrated before starting the story once again it is narrated in the form of a fairy tale how does a fairy tale starts in the way you know imaginary land is there and once upon a time there was in that way so this is narrated in the form of a fairy tale so these are the basic things we should know before we start the story i hope i am very much clear to you all clear so once there was a man uh, who went around selling rat traps who is that man paddler paddler is not any name fine it is the you can say the person who walks on foot to you no know, sell the things around he doesn't have any vehicle obviously he is too poor to afford any good clothing as well fine he is wearing rags only phate hue kapde hai uske and this paddler who is the protagonist as well so he went around selling rat traps and uh, those rat traps he made up of small wires which he had either collected from various places or sometimes he begged also because he he is not able to collect that much money so he is into uh, fine collecting uh, you can say wires or he sometimes begs money and then he purchases the things and all so he himself makes those rat traps he is the one who's making it clear so he made them uh, and this is a small business he runs he does not have any place to live he does not have any family to look forward to fine so he is all alone uh, and uh, he keeps on moving from one place to another sometimes he gets food sometimes he doesn't get sometimes he get a shelter the other time he doesn't get so that sort of uh, you can say life he is leading so if i use the word vagabond for peddler it is also correct vagabond peddler fine the person a uh, wanderer next word i can use for peddler is do not get scared by seeing different words the meaning is same wanderer who keeps on wandering here and there vagabond also he doesn't have any you can say place to live so he has to wander here and there okay so peddler vagabond or wanderer fine he uh, you know his clothes were in rags his cheeks were sunken that show that he does not have any proper food to eat uh, lack of nutrition you can say can be seen because he is not too rich to afford even he is not even uh, earning enough to you know uh, give proper diet to himself so one day he was uh, going and selling his rat traps 
एंड ही डेंगल्स दो राउंड हिज नेक फाइन यहाँ पे वो लटका के ही कीप्स ऑन वॉकिंग एंड सेलिंग सो वन डे ही वॉज स्ट्रक विद अ फिलोसॉफिकल आइडिया वॉट वॉज दैट आइडिया दैट द होल वर्ल्ड इज अ रैट ट्रैप सो ये आइडिया प्रोटेगनिस्ट का था जो बेटा फॉर एवरीज में सो दैट्स वाई ही हैड दैट द वर्ल्ड इज अ रैट ट्रैप एवरी पर्सन इज जस्ट लाइक रैट वन डे और द अदर डे एवरी वन विल बी ट्रैप इन दर्ल्ड पोजेशन फर्स्ट कैटेगरी ऑफ पीपल ऑलरेडी ट्रैप्ड second category of people those who are about to trap in this worldly possession so this is the idea of this paddler fine clear and uh, you know and what are the worldly things anybody can tell me what are the worldly possessions very simple question as if i'm asking to the class first or second 40 plus students have joined today because of the combined class raise your hands Yes, anyone can uh, answer this. What are the worldly possessions, beta? Yes, Webha is saying money. Money is worldly possession. Very good. What else? You can write in the chat box. I will announce it. Yes, the things uh, that attract the person, just people, uh, like food and clothing, and uh, you can say. many other valuable possessions anything can be you can say materialistic approach yes rasika very good okay so according to this like chapter uh, many things luxuries of life yes we have well done so many luxuries of life uh, are kind of worldly possessions fine so according to you can say wait so one dark evening he was you know walking slowly with heavy steps when he saw a little grey cottage so he was selling rat traps and uh, the way he used to earlier fine and one dark evening he was you know taking heavy steps he was tired he wanted to have rest then he saw a grey colored cottage that belonged to this character beta croft you know so crafter is a person crafter is again it's not a name make sure paddler is also not a name it's his fine so crafter is also the person who takes land on rent and work upon that okay so then we call it crafter so that crafter uh, you know was living all alone in that gray colored cottage now what are the similarities of these two characters paddler is all alone he doesn't have any family he is battling with loneliness similarly crafter he is also battling with loneliness he does not have any family these are the common traits both want a kind of company in life fine that is the common trait but the different trait is crafter has enough money to survive number 1 that is the contrast dono ka difference kya hai second contrast is he does have his own cottage to live fine he does not have and the rest of the things are same loneliness and they do not have any family they do not have any person to talk to you know how how do you become friends with the other person when you have something in common you know so when you have a common trait you know alike attract alike so when he knocks at the door of their <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> he uh, you know knocks at the door of the crafter's cottage and asks for you know to stay over there for a night to take rest and all and crafter allows him why did he and question now please note down very important why does crafter allow peddler to enter into his cottage why does crafter allow we are doing questions also uh, as basis of sample papers and all okay ye bahut bar aaya hai why does crafter allow peddler to enter his cottage who will answer this anushka se to maine sare puchne hai you also think of your answer gorav i have answered this question already i guess before asking the question very good very good rasika you also tell anushka has given the accurate answer to me 
जल्दी से बेटा प्लीज वी हैव सिक्स पीरियड एज वेल टूडे ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू फिनिश दिस चैप्टर नाउ Rana Gurjeet is writing because Crofter was all alone and wanted to have a company. Very good. So I got the answer in chat box. Uh, yes, he was battling with loneliness or uh, as well. Crofter did not have anyone to talk to because they both are having same nature. They don't have because he had lost his family. Yes, it's not about lost his family, beta. Yes, he. he was secluded he was a solitary he was lonely at that moment and he needed a company to whom he could talk and pour his heart out you know baat kar sake so he says okay he allows peddler to enter his cottage at that time fine now they become you know quite good friends like they start talking about the uh, things and he also offers him porridge you know खाने को उसको पॉरिज देता है एंड सून दे बिकम यू कैन देन दे प्ले अ गेम कॉल्ड मजोलिस मजोलिस इज द यू कैन से गेम ऑफ कार्ड्स ओनली सो जस्ट टू पास द टाइम टू एंटरटेन देमसेल्व्स दे प्ले अ गेम मजोलिस इज वेल फाइन एंड ही आल्सो गेव हिम टोबैको फॉर हिज पाइप यू नो क्रॉफ्टर वाज अ वेरी गुड यू कैन से ही वाज इनटू हॉस्पिटैलिटी though peddler was a stranger he welcomes him he offers him porridge he offers him tobacco to uh, you can say smoke he plays games of cards named majolis with him agar aapko question aa jata hai ki what did they do together fine you can know what to write short question mein detailing aati hai hamesha facts aate hain long questions are thought provoking so be smart enough because your subjective paper is going to be there now and you people are out of the habit of writing the answers okay so this is the way what they did together so uh then he got out you can say uh, after that uh crofter you know became so friendly with peddler that he gets excited he should not have been you can say that excited to him that he shows him three notes he has recently earned because he is into the business of milking cows early morning now crofter is into the business of milking cows so he has recently earned crofter has recently earned 30 kronors kyunki sweden ki mines mein beta ye background of the chapter kahan pe hai background of the chapter is sweden mines of sweden so sweden currency hai kronors okay you must know the background of the chapter is set in sweden i guess i'm not wrong so yes mines of sweden i'm correct mines m i n e s mines of sweden uh so this uh, background is like rich in iron works that's why they have what talked about iron master iron mill you know because sweden is famous for that mines of iron so 30 kroners crofter has earned and three notes total means 10 kroners each you should know iske upar bahut bar question aaya you should know three notes means 10 kroner ka ek note hai uska so recently he has earned 30 kroners out of his business of milking cow and he shows to peddler out of excitedness ki okay watch it you know i have recently earned 30 kroners and a pouch was being hung near the window sill he removes that pouch opens that and shows 30 kroners to crofter sorry to peddler again he puts back the money and hangs at the same place that was the mistake of his life he did we should not rely upon strangers to that extent so in the morning both of them bid goodbye to each other because crofter has to go for his business early in the morning peddler has to leave for his rat traps and all so he locked his door of cottage and went so that way went to forest side as well both of them after half an hour peddler comes back why does he come back anybody remembers yes come on fast why does peddler come back after half an hour itna to yaad hoga chapter hum kar chuke hain ye ये सुखमनजोत करेक्ट बेटा टू स्टील 
yes to steal so plus two is very comfortable you know chind chatting they are not like so lazy to speak you know oratory skill jab asl hone hai tab chat nahi chalni aapki okay then you have to speak in asl exam speaking listening skills let's see then uh so yes you are right he comes back to steal amount so uh correct answer he had this idea of stealing amount and he comes back clear who comes back peddler comes back he breaks the window pane that glass and he had that idea ki this is the nearby place i could just he puts his arm into the window and takes that pouch takes 30 kroners and keeps the pouch once again inside and sneaks away he goes into the jungle into the forest and he thought if i will take the countryside if i will take the road and all i can be caught easily you know chor ki daadi mein tanka so he was scared that even if i can be caught so he took the way to forest but he was not having the any idea that he will be lost in the forest he kept on walking and walking and he was coming at the same place again and again and he was dead tired it was night and it was getting cold as well i guess it was late in december darkness increased the danger uh, as also the gloom and despair so december nights are like that only always you know so he was so dead tired he was hungry subah se kuch khaya nahi tha and he was not able to find the path and the moment he felt that i'm about to die and he kept his ear you can say over there he heard some thudding sound as if somebody is beating the iron that thud sound was uh, heard overheard by him and then he immediately had an idea okay there is someone working nearby so actually uh, those were the mines iron works mines ramso iron works the name is ramso iron works and that belong to iron master fine he was the iron master is the owner of that place and he would visit his mill he would make night visits nightly visits over there to check whether my workers are working or not fine so a croft sorry peddler reaches there blacksmith jo hote hain jo kaam kar rahe hote hain wahan pe so blacksmith were working hard and beating the iron and getting it melted in the huge you can say fire was burning and all process was going on and he enters that gate of ramso iron works and you know blacks he asks for the permission to stay over there for a night and blacksmith without even considering his appearance he say okay fine because they were too busy in their work and they were not the owners as well so blacksmith gives the permission to peddler fine to enter the ramso works and he lies down near the fireplace keeping his hat on his face and he sleeps the moment he lays down so uh, as i told you iron master will be visiting to check whether my workers are working or not he made those nightly visits over there and then he found someone because the owner will check his uh, iron mill in a serious way blacksmiths were not interested in knowing so so that iron master sees who sleeping near that forge near that fireplace so he checks and he removes the hat from the face of a uh, peddler and he sees that man was sleeping with one eye open that was funny also and then immediately he had one you can say wrong notion sometimes you know in life we meet people and sometimes they look alike and we start you know miss identify we miss identify the person okay this person seems to be that but wo hota koi aur hai so actual he was a peddler a rat trap seller a vagabond a wanderer who does not have any relative and all but fortunately it was you can say the luck of uh, you can say peddler that iron master he thinks that he is one of his acquaintance fine usko galti lagti hai ki this man you know this peddler he seems to be one of my uh, co-workers fine 
in the past and he is acquainted to me and he starts addressing him with the name of Niels Olf that one of the old retired regimental officer what is regimental people who are having army background fine so he miss think that he is not able to find that he is a vagabond he thought that he is that old regimental officer mr nils olf but actually he was not and he thinks that okay maybe out of bad days of his life or poverty his appearance is in rags so i will ask him about this later on so he asks the peddler to uh, ask about his you know he ad starts addressing him with the name of that person starts treating him as if he is acquainted but galti kya hui peddler did not tell him the truth that was the mistake peddler let him misidentify him peddler let, let him think what he was thinking he did not interfere in telling him that i am not that person you are thinking me to be so he started you know accepted whatever he said and he offers him you should you know join me at my home you should come at my home today but peddler you know who already he has theft uh, done that uh, thievery he was uh, uh, scared ki mere paas to 30 kroners se chori kiye hue if i will go with this man iron master i can be caught easily by the cops by the police so he was scared he denies this invitation iron master keeps on giving invitation to him because he thinks that he is my friend but he denies it peddler did not accept that invitation okay i'm not going to continue now further we will continue in sixth period but i will like to ask you some questions now okay um, everything i told you uh please tell me in the chat box okay if you're not comfortable in uh, speaking the background of the chapter is set in dash very simple questions i'm asking objective type the background of the chapter is set in dash i will be asking the questions whatever i have taught you right now right in the chat box nandini says mines of sweden yes very good nandini next question is i have used various words for peddler what are those words i'm just checking that those who were listening to me or not webhav says vagabond yes yes nandini says wanderer webhav says wanderer very good so though there are students yes suhani very good vagabond it's it starts from v okay suhani spellings are not correct सी चैट से भी हम स्पेलिंग पढ़ लेते हैं आपके वी आर सो यूज टू इट इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वी वी ए जी ए फाइन येस करेक्ट आंसर वैगबंड वॉन्डर पैडलर ऑल वर्ड सूट हिम ओके येस रसिका करेक्ट आंसर बेटा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मेनी नोट्स वर शोन बाय क्रॉफ्टर एंड हाउ डिड ही अर्न those how many notes or tell me the amount earned by crafter yes sukman jodh correct answer three notes were shown tanishka uh, tanisha sorry plus 2b 30 kroners it's n o r beta okay spelling theek kar lena three notes of 10 each gorav of plus 2c says correct answer beta webhav it is telling us by selling milk yes करेक्ट आंसर बेटा फाइन सो ही ऑन्स थर्टी क्रोनोर्स बाय मिल्किंग बाय सेलिंग मिल्क एंड टेन क्रोनोर्स ईच टोटल थ्री नोट एक नोट टेन क्रोनोर्स का था एंड दैट इज द करेंसी ऑफ स्वीडन ओके यू शुड नो माई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज okay bell ho gayi hai beta so i need to go to next class have a nice day and please do join the students who have joined in first period do join in sixth period to complete the story of rat trap okay have a nice day